Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is the third and final part of my declutter and organisation after Advent season. And today we're going to be doing body care, hair care and fragrance. And you'll notice my voice isn't great today. Um, I woke up with a sore throat yesterday and it's just, just my voice. I feel absolutely fine. But yeah, my voice isn't really doing much. But I needed to get this done today because obviously I work in the week. So I didn't want to wait another week to do this. I just wanted to get things sorted, get it filmed, so we can get another video up as well. And thankfully, the storm seems to have quietened a little bit since I filmed the last bit of my makeup video yesterday, so hopefully it shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, this is what we're doing in today's video. So we're gonna dive straight into it. I'm gonna show you what I've got, and then we'll do it in sections. I have literally so much stuff in the giveaway pile. So I think I'm gonna be doing giveaways like literally every month now because I have so much stuff to share with you all. But yeah, let's dive into it. So these are the bags that's left. So we have hair care in here. That is hair care, this is body care, this is fragrance, Elemis body care, and then we also have tools, so like makeup brushes and stuff, because uh, I've not actually sorted those yet. So this is what we're going to be sorting today. So I'm going to start with hair care. Now hair care I have in this drawer, this is going to take up so much space. But yeah, these are basically smaller products that I can get to quite easily. So we have like leave-in conditioners, some masks, some oils. Yeah, just, just bits of stuff and then I keep my clips and small bubbles there and then scrunchies on top which makes the drawer super full. And then in this next drawer, I keep my bigger products, so like my full size elasticizer, the Beauty Works 10 in 1 which is massive, uh, some of the masks and stuff um, and then headbands. So it looks quite full but I don't use a lot of this so obviously I want to do my usual organisation declutter um, and yeah this is what we're going to be starting with. So. Hair care products then. We have this here. So the products are all stored up here, so it's not actually too much stuff in there. Um, and then the other one is that small bag over there. And this is the other one. So yeah, there's lots of hair care products in there. So first of all, I'm gonna get the products out of here, see what we've got, and then we'll have a look at these together and see what I'm keeping, see what I'm sharing as well. So these are all the products that I already have. Um, as you can see, I try to keep them fairly organized. I have two different trays in the drawers. Yeah, quite a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to start with this smaller tray. So these are all like, just smaller products that I can get to, just easy, everyday kind of products. Okay, so I'm going to sort these into masks and treatments and then other kind of products, like styling products, and then we'll see what we've got. Even if I try, try too hard Tell me what to do, say anything So these are all the products I've got. So as you can see, the majority here are masks. These are like leave-in conditioners, oils, kind of like styling treatments, like styling products. Um, and then again, so we've got like a, a hairspray, we've got a, um, a volume spray, and a dry shampoo. And then these two are like conditioners. And that is everything. So I'm gonna do it one at a time, go through each section, see what I'm keeping, see what I'm getting rid of, and then we can start on the new stuff. So starting with leave-in conditioners, um, I'm actually going to be keeping all of these because I have been working through them and I've been doing a good job and these are all ones which I still want to try and still want to use. So that's the first one which is really easy. Um, obviously there will be some more leave-in conditioners in the advent pile but yeah I use leave-in conditioner every single time I do my hair. Um, I won't blow dry my hair without it so it's an essential. So we've got the Dream Cocktail from Colorwell. Um, this one from Camilla Rose, which was in an ASOS box a while ago. The Turning One Beauty Works, which is the best. I absolutely love that. I've got the JVN Air Dry Cream. The Aribe Power Drops. Uh, we have a Blow Dry Cream from Beauty Works. We've got the Old Plex number 6. We've got one from Avant, which I'm very intrigued to try because obviously these are skincare, usually. And then, of course, we have the K18 as well, which I've not tried before. So all those ones I will be keeping. Now oils, this is a very small collection. Um, the Gizu, I still haven't tried it because I'm still using my Beauty Works one. Um, and like skincare, I don't like to open new products when I've still got them open. Um, so I'm finishing Beauty Works and this is the next one I'm using. Um, these are meant to be really good when we are Paradox and I really like that brand. So I will keep that one. I also have one here, but the same thing. Hair Elixir, okay, slightly different, but yeah, same kind of thing. Uh, we've got one from Fable and Main, which is a fab brand. Uh, we've got the Kerastase, Olaplex, and then this is kind of like, it's not really an oil, it's like a finishing product. It gives a bit of shine to your hair. So yeah, keep all those as well. Not much of a decal to go on today. This is also like a pre-shampoo oil treatment. 
Um, so I do want to try that one. So I'll keep that on. Okay, these are like styling kind of products, styling treatments, leave-in styling creams and stuff like that. So the volume blow dry spray. I think I'm using one of those. This is actually a really nice product. That this is open. I've tried this one. Um, and yeah, I do like that. So I'll keep that. I've had this one a while, but it is a fab product, and this is a product that keeps your hair looking silver. So if you've got a toner in that makes it look a bit silver, this is such a fab product. You can see it's like a blue kind of product. Uh, love that. Um, I actually got this one as well to try after I'd finished that, but I haven't opened that yet. This is really, really nice. It's like a finishing product. Just gives your hair a bit of shine. Okay, we have, we have a hairspray. Yeah, I will keep that one. So I've got two of these Raise the Root products. Uh, thicken and Lift Spray. I don't need two, but I've not tried it yet, so I'll keep one and pass one on. We have one from Living Proof. This is fab. I've used this before. Um, wave Spray from Way. I just don't wear my hair like that, so I'll pass that one on. Uh, Pure Colour Frizz Fighting Gloss. I've not tried this. I might try it. Um, the Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. This looks so, so good, so I do want to try that one. Perfecting Cream from Fekai. I've just never reached for it, so I'll pass that on. Uh, we've got the Daviness Blow Dry Primer. I want to try that one. This Virtue product, I do want to try. We have a Sisley product. It's a restructuring nourishing balm. Never really reached for that one, so I'll pass that one on. Uh, a nourishing balm from Hair by Sam McKnight. I'll try that one. Uh, this is fab. This is a wonder one from Easy Locks, and it's basically like a hair mascara, so if you have any flyaways, you just basically brush this over it and it flattens them. Um, so yeah, I quite like that little product. And then we have the one minute transformation styling cream, which I'm going to keep. And finally we have masks. So these are the biggest section. Quite similar to masks, we have these two products which are like a conditioner. Um, now this one you can use it as a mask, but you can also use it as a conditioner, so I'll use it as a conditioner. Um, and this is the clear conditioning gloss, which I still need to try, so I will be using that one. Now, masks. I've not been doing many hair masks for the past six months, so I do want to get back into the habit of doing them. And there's lots here that I do want to try. If we start with the bigger products, so we have this one from Show Beauty, uh, Repair Treatment Mask. I have had this a while now, it's still brand new, like unopened. Um, but I'm going to get this out of the box so I can start using this one. It just looks so stunning, doesn't it? Such a beautiful product. So in the box it says it is a treatment mask. So you put it on for 10 minutes and rinse through. So it's like a conditioner, so I can actually use that in the shower. Then we have this one from Moroccan Oil, which this will smell incredible. I definitely want that one. Uh, we have a Sol de Janeiro mask. Yeah, obviously I'm keeping that one. I have two of these reincarnation masks for bleached, odd coloured hair. See, perfect for my hair. Massage into shampooed hair and comb through. Wait for 10 to 20 minutes and then rinse. So it's like a longer condition as well, isn't it? Revolution, I'm not too bothered about. Now we have quite a few of these Philip Kingsley elasticizers. Oh, that's the elasticizer booster. So it's like a conditioner, so I can go straight in the shower. Um, but the elasticizer, that's not elasticizer either. Okay, right, so we only have two elasticizers. Um, I use these, and these are just the ones that I'll use next. And then we have the elasticizer booster conditioner. This is swim cap, this is a water resistant mask. Okay, I'm gonna keep this because this is something that I'll take on holiday. So you basically apply this to damp hair and leave it on to guard against the effects of sun and water while swimming and sunbathing. And you rinse it and then double shampoo to get it off. Sounds great. Okay, then we have some mini masks here. We have two of the Olpex number eight, so I'll pass one on, keep one. This is a really nice product. I like to use this in the shower as a conditioner. Um, and then we have from Archive, a treatment mask that looks nice, the Esper one. Uh, we are Paradox, keep that. The two from Way, one from Hair Gain, and what's this? Uh, I'll pass that one on. Oh, we have this one as well. Hair by Sam McKnight, Deeper Love Intense Treatment Mask. Yep, I'll keep that one. Not really getting rid of much, but I do work through all these products, so I will get around to using them. Okay, so let's start with what's in this bag then. Okay, that is actually a lot more than I expected. Um, so first off, we're going to start with the easiest pile, which is this one here, which are shampoos 
and conditioners because I will use all of these. Um, these minis will not take me long to get through. So that is super easy and they can go straight in my bathroom. We've got these from Archive. We've got a shampoo from Devina. The shampoo and conditioner from Gizu. Shampoo and conditioner from Olaplex. A Color Wow Duo. We have these minis from Philip Kingsley. A duo from Hair by Sam McKnight. Uh, we have the Percy and Reed Wonder Shampoo. The Way Scalp and Body Scrubs. I use this as a scalp scrub. Um, Living Proof Full Shampoo. We've got the Diziac Conditioner. We do actually have these shampoo bars. Um, I don't actually think I'm going to use these. I thought they sounded quite cool and they smell amazing, but I think I just prefer to use my other products. And then of course we have these conditions as well. Okay, the next easy section is probably oils. So these are the oils here. Let's move that hairspray out of the way. So the oils, we've got the Aribe Nourishing Hair Oil. We have this one from Larry King. I have this little mini from Charlotte Mensah. Another Beauty Works, which is my fave. Uh, we've got one from Archive. One from Bread, which I'm really excited to try. We have another from Fable and Main, and we have one from Virtue. I've already got both of these products, so I'm going to pass these on. But I'm going to be keeping those. So those are all the oils sorted. Um, I do want to be using more products on my hair this year. Keep it in really good condition. Okay, this section here is like leave-in conditioners. Um, and there's quite a lot. So we do have a couple of random products as well. So like we have the hair fragrance from Gizu, which I, uh, I'm obsessed with. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Um, and we also have like a salty mist, which I'm definitely not going to use. I'll pass it on. And then a root boosting spray. This is like a styling product really, isn't it? I'll put that over there for now. Um, and we also have a couple of these dry shampoos. This is my all-time favourite dry shampoo. So of course I'm keeping this. But yeah, leave ink conditioner. So like I said, I already use leave-in conditioner every single time I do my hair. Now you'll notice we do have three of these Aveda ones. The Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave-In. Oh, that's different. Oh, they're all different. Oh, fine. Okay. So we have the Strengthening Leave-In Treatment, this big one, uh, which is a fab product. I really like that and I'm glad I've got another one. We've then got the Bond Building Styling Cream. That can go in that section. And then we have the Strengthening Overnight Serum. So this is more like a mask because it's like an overnight product, so I'll put that in a mask section. But yeah, definitely keeping this one. Um, I've never tried one from Philip Kingsley. This isn't the Elasticizer, it's the Elastic Styler 5-in-1 Treatment. Beauty Works, I already have this one, so I'll pass it on. Um, I do want to try this one from Schwarzkopf. That looks really good. Um, Air Dry Cream, I already have a mini of, but it's just a mini one, so I'll keep another one of that. This is a leave-in blow dry formula. This is different than the 10-in-1 product, so I really want to try this one. I also want to try this one from Shampoo. We've got an anti-frizz serum as well that I want to try from Beauty Works. The only one that I'm not really bothered about trying is this Root Stimulating Primer from Grow Gorgeous. But the rest of these I do want to try. Okay, so next is like styling kind of products. So these are the styling products I've already got. These are the new ones. Now, I will be keeping this one from Aveda because I do want to try this one. Um, I think I've already got this one. I do. I have two of these. So I'll pass that on. I also already have this nourishing balm from Hair by Sam McKnight, so I have three of these now. And I don't need three. I probably don't even need one's enough. So I'll keep one and pass two on. We have the Raise the Root Spray, and I'm sure I've got that already. Um, so yeah, the only other ones, we've got the Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer, which I've already got one of, so I can pass one on. And then the Root Boosting Spray, which is similar to this one, but it's different. But it's a different brand, so it's okay. And then finally, the biggest section is masks. So, of course, I have another Philip Kingsley, but I will use this one, so that's fine. So, all together now, we have three, I think. So, yeah, I have three elasticizers now. I was definitely keeping this one from Moroccan Isle. Um, obviously, I'm keeping the Olaplexes because I do use those. They're great. This one from Show Beauty, I was trying. Uh, the one from Amika looks and smells amazing, so I do want to try that one. Faith in Nature. See Shane Argan, it sounds fab. Which ones don't I want to try? Okay, well this is the same one as the pot, so I'll pass this one on. And I've already got this one from Esper, so I'll pass this one on as well. But then the rest of them, I'm gonna keep. So now we just need to figure out how to store these in my drawer. Um, so obviously I do have the trays, so I'm just going to prop you up and see what fits and try and fit it all in my drawer and then show you how it looks. If we just try, baby, try, try, try You find it distracting Hold of our issues Rather die with you We no longer talk when it gets hard Ok, 
okay so these are the products which will fit in um, but that's okay because some of these are masks which I'm going to start using straight away and some of these I can actually fit on my dressing table um, these are what the drawers are looking like it, again it looks very full because of these scrunchies um, if we take these out so I've got products that I'm probably going to start using first here um, and then other ones at the back bubbles at the front a couple of bubble plaques there and tons of scrunchies and then in this one my bigger products all at the back there some bigger masks down the side um, and then I put a few masks here and then my tools and then I pop the headbands on because I keep these in this drawer but when, when my drawer is too full these actually get stuck so I wanted to make sure I could get these in first without the drawer getting stuck so yeah that is hair care done um, these are the products I'm getting rid of Ooh. Um, and then these are shampoos which are going in the bathroom. Hi guys, so I actually stopped filming after that bit. Um, I don't know if you could tell by my voice, but I really wasn't feeling great. Um, I woke up with a bit of a sore throat. I don't know if I said this in the video because I can't remember now because it was a week ago. Um, but I woke up with a bit of a sore throat and I've had a bit of a cough and just generally just feeling a bit ugh. So yeah, I probably don't sound very enthused in the first part of the video. And when I got to that bit, I was just so tired from just talking for that small amount of time. I just thought I can't even finish this off, which was really annoying because I really wanted to get it done on that day. Um, Because now it's been a week because obviously I've been working. But we're back and today we're going to finish this off because I need to get this finished. Like, I want to tidy up. I'm still not 100%, so my voice does sound a little bit weird. Hopefully it won't come across too weird on camera. Um, But yeah, so today we're going to finish body care, fragrance and tools, makeup brushes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's start with body care. So this is the body care bag. Lots of shower gels, body lotions, just stuff like that. Also hand creams, I think. So I'm going to get it all on the floor like I do always. Um, separate it by category and then we'll see what we've got. Okay, so this is what we've got then. So over here I've put like shower gels some of them are bath and shower gels but these are products which i would just use in the shower um here we have body moisturizers body butters uh, body creams we have body serums just three um the random bits we've got a self tan product we've got the glowy product from p louise we've got some collagen powder and we've got a deodorant then here we have hand creams quite a lot of them these are body oil oh what's this body cream uh, these are body oils these are body scrubs and these are bath products, so bath salts and bath stuff. Now obviously some of these um, bath and shower gels you can use in the bath, but those are the ones I would use in the shower and these are the ones I would use in the bath. Although some of the Elemis ones I could use in the bath, and maybe like the molten brown one. So let's do one section at a time. I'm going to start with body oils. So this one from Ren is one that I really want to try. Um, I absolutely love Rituals, so these ones are really nice. I do have quite a few. But it doesn't take me long to get through these and this is my favourite scent. So keeping those. That's the little card that came with the run. We've got the Augustinus Beta Body Oil. Love that. This is really nice. I've got quite a few minis of that. So what I think I'm going to do is keep this big one and put some of the minis into the giveaway um, that I've just not opened. And then I just have one big one. Uh, we've got the Aromatherapy Associates. This is a bit of a different one. So I've had quite a lot of these products before but never this one. This is the... Support Breathe Bath and Shower Oil. It's not really a body oil, it really should go in the bath and shower section, but yeah, I'm intrigued. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait to use this. This is so exciting. I love this product. I've not even used it yet, but I know I'm really gonna love it. Um, so definitely keeping that one. We have this Hugo Face and Body Tinted. I think this is like a holiday kind of product for me. But I haven't used it yet. This was in the calendar last year. I don't know why it's in this pile. But this is just more of like, It's for your body. It just gives it a glow. I think that's such a nice like summer product, you know, for going out on holiday. Nice glowy oil. Yeah, we'll keep that one. And then we have the Heirloom All Over Nourishing Oil. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, yeah, I do quite like body oils at the moment. So I'll keep those. We move on to these bath products. Um, this I've not tried before. This was in the Selfridges calendar. And I do like bath salts, um, so I'll keep that one. I like bits in a glass jar as well. This from the body shop smelled so, so good when I unboxed the calendar. I can't wait to use this, so definitely 100% keeping that one. Um, these are the bath salts from P. Louise. I'm not very excited about these, so these can go. Okay, hand creams. We have quite a lot of them. I tend to lose hand creams, I'll be honest. 
especially these little ones. So I'll open these and then I'll put them in my bag to take to work and I'll forget them in the bottom of my bag. I'll put them in my handbag then as well. And they just disappear. Um, I absolutely love those. So these ones, especially from the uh, Body Shop and Loxitan, these are fab. I absolutely love these products. These are super nourishing on the skin. They're not greasy and I absolutely love them. They're just amazing. So 100% keeping those. Uh, we have this bar of soap from Melon and Goats. It's not necessarily like just for your hands, it's hand and body. Um, but this is one that I would just use um, on my hands. I just have it this side of my sink because I'm going to put it in the bathroom. This little duo from Rituals is the hand wash and hand balm. I think that looks so stunning and I'm keeping that to put in my bathroom. We have a couple from the White Company. These are hand washes. I found that these kind of dried my hands out a little bit last year. So I'm probably just going to keep sea salt because that's my like all time favourite scent now. So I'll keep that one but then I'm going to pass this one on the the bergamot and cedar one. Um, love the ritual hand creams, they're amazing. I'm very excited to try this one from Mantle. This is the High Five. Um, Verdun, I've not tried that so oh yeah I'll keep that one. Rituals, yep. And then we have, oh this is another fab one. So this is just a bigger version of the L'Occitane ones and it's the cherry one. I just don't want to get rid of any of these because I really like them. Uh, this is a mini of the Hydro Reset Hand Mask from Fenty. I do have the full size of this. So I could pass this one on. Okay, body serums. This is going to be a hard one because this is such a big category. We have the Esper Optimal Skin Pro Serum. Two of them, but they're absolutely tiny. Um, and then we have the Necessaire, the body serum. So, surprise, surprise. I'm going to keep those three products. Let's do the miscellaneous products here. So, first of all, this Wild Deodorant Stick. Um... I've recently moved on to Wild Deodorant and I absolutely love them um, and this is the first one that I tried so this was in the calendar and I did actually try it so this is the scent which is fresh cotton and sea salt and it's just amazing I absolutely love these natural deodorants um, I mean I was using natural deodorant for quite a while before I tried Wild anyway so there wasn't really like a transition for me um, if you've not used it before though there will be a little bit of a transition um, but yeah love this and this is a nice small one for travelling Beauty powder, collagen powder. I did try some of these last time I got them. Um, they were like flavoured ones and I just didn't really like the flavour. I might try it. Let's try it. Uh, self tanning drops. See, this is when you add to moisturiser. Okay, I'll try that one. Um, the all over body glow from P. Louise. I don't really need that because um, oh, this is more like an oil, isn't it? Because I've got the similar ones from Sol and Q Glow. So, yeah, I'll leave that one for now. Body scrubs. We have a few from... Oh, okay, we have one from Rituals. I thought I had more than that. Um, maybe I've just already got some. I'm not sure. Oh, no, it was the one from the ASOS calendar. It actually leaked, so I had to put it in the bathroom. Um, yeah, this is a hot body scrub. This sounds really nice. Uh, we have a couple from Away. So we got one of these in the oh, Cult Beauty calendar. I think it was this bottom one. But we should have received this top one. So they actually emailed after, like, a few weeks. And said, um, here's a voucher, you can order the original one. So now I have two. Um, the mango, oh my god, this smells so good from the body shop. Love that. Uh, we've got a rituals one again. And this one, black cherry and vanilla. Let me smell this. Oh, that does smell really good. Yeah, that smells so good. I need that. That one's from Bubble Tea. Okay, shower gel. <laughs> there seems like so many in this section. Um, I do already have like a stock of shower gels. <laughs> Um, ignore my plug in the background, that's for my light that I've not got switched on. Okay, so, I mean, obviously, first of all, if we start with, let's move you back a little bit. If we start with Rituals, I absolutely love all of these Rituals ones, so I'm definitely keeping these. Oh, that's a body lotion mousse, wrong section. So we have the Ritual of Hammam, we have oh, the best limited edition one. This is so nice, this is the gold foaming shower gel. Um, it's the Legend of the Dragon, so nice, I've got a mini of that as well, I love it. Um, then we have another mini ritual of her mom. Um, then we've got the ritual of Ayurveda. Love that one. And we have a mini shower gel from the ritual of Jing as well. Love those. Um, then we've got a couple from Elemis. So obviously I'm keeping these ones as well. We've got the modern English rose and the warm tonka and vanilla bean bath and shower milk. We have the rituals two in one hair and body wash. Um, Dan can try that one. A full size of the shower gel from L'Occitane. We have the Lime and Bay and the Seychelles one, so I'm keeping those. Um, I love these molten brown ones. I use these as bubble baths sometimes, but really, really nice. This is orange and bergamot. Um, this is a really nice one from Aqua de Palma. I've just finished one of those. And we have two of those. I might pop one of those in the giveaway. 
And then we have um, Noble Isle Rhubarb and Rhubarb. Rhubarb, Rhubarb? Yep. Um, Tube Rose and Cashmere. This is another insanely gorgeous scent from the White Company. Then we have the Frangipani Monai Shower Cream. Obsessed with that one. Two from the Body Shop. We've got Avocado and then Pink Grapefruit. And then we have the Esper Positivity Bath and Shower Gel. Oh, and we also have a full size of that one. There we go. So, yeah, I'm actually not getting rid of any of those. Just the one for a giveaway. Body creams. So, now, bearing in mind, I use a body cream every time I have a shower. So I get through quite a lot of them. So, first of all, the Bum Bum Cream. Full size, definitely keeping that eye. I love that. It's my favourite ever. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, we have a mini of the Beige Floor Elastic Cream. I love that one. This... Rituals of Ayurveda Balancing Body Cream. This is such a gorgeous scent as well. I love that one. Um, what else have we got? Okay, this Aqua de Palma one is lovely, but I'm going to put this in the giveaway to match the bath and shower gel. We've got some more Elemis, which I am obviously keeping because Elemis is my favourite. Right, we do have quite a lot of these deep sleep. Oh, that's a shower gel. Oh, I wait to try that one. Um, we've got three of the deep sleep body cocoons. One's looking... Not as white as the others. Uh, they're my favourite. I like to put those on just before getting into bed. I've got the anti dryness body lotion. I'm going to give that to Dan. Um, CBD body cocoon. That sounds nice. Uh, melanin goats, which I'm very excited to try. Another Elemis. Rituals is my favourite. We've got a couple from Longcom. We've got a Rituals. We've got the Body Shop Avocado. Um, we've got an Aveeno, which is fab to have in. Uh, the De Stress Muscle Gel, which is going to be fab for working out. What's this one? All over body. It's an, oh, that's a glow again. It's not even a moisturiser. Wrong section. And then we have the Walida Skin Food. We've got the Body Shop. I, oh, I actually opened this one. This is the British Rose Body Yogurt. I'm not a huge fan of rose. But when I opened that, it actually wasn't too bad. This, on the other hand, smells unreal. So definitely keeping that one. We've then got the Cloud Cream, which is a new one for me from the White Company. Love that. Um, and this one that also smells amazing from... Uh, what's it called? Sanctuary Spa. Yeah. Not doing very well with this section, have I? So I'm going to go and open my body care drawer, which is the third drawer up there, and see what's in there and see what we can switch around. So in here we mainly have like tans at the back and then a few body kind of products at the front. So we have some after sun, which I'm keeping for the summer. That's still in date. It's absolutely fine. Uh, I've got a little SPF 15. Um, I don't really use SPF 15, so I'll pass that one on, on actually. A couple of tanning products. What's this? Gashino tan. So we have a Fenty Skin body scrub, which I haven't tried yet. Uh, the CC body from Arborian. I love this brand so much. We've got a body oil from Avino. Oh, I forgot I had that one. Body yogurt from Soap and Glory. I'm probably not going to use that, so I'll pass that one on. Um, body oil from Rituals. I've already got one of these. I don't need another one. I also have like my brush cleaning products in here as well. Tanning products. Lots of tanning products. These are more like my summer products, so I'm all ready for summer. Oh, this is one I actually took on holiday last year and didn't use, so yeah, I'll keep that one anyway. And the rest is just tan stuff, so really, yeah, not really much to get rid of there. I can put some body lotions in there now. Okay, so that was all body care. So I didn't really get rid of much, but everything's sorted now. It's all tidy in the bathroom and I have some spares in this bag here. Now let's move on to fragrances and candles. So this is a bag full of fragrances and candles. Very heavy. And also other bits as well. So we do like have the Cult Beauty uh, pillowcase. So obviously I'm keeping that. So first up, I'm going to pick out my favourite fragrances, which I've spotted a couple of. So we have the uh, YSL Black Opium. So the YSL La Nuit de L'Homme. Uh, Dan likes this one. Then we have, oh, this is um, a home fragrance, but it's the Ritual Legend of the Dragon. Um, that is so nice. So definitely having that one. We have the YSL Libra. We also have the YSL Mon Paris. We've got the Lancome Idol fragrance. Another Lancome, I forgot the name of that one. YSL Tuxedo. Um, another silk pillowcase, was a satin pillowcase. Uh, we've also got some hyaluronic acid supplements, so I'll keep those as well. Um, or oh, I really, really like this laundry refreshing spray from Rituals. I'm currently using the one that we got last year. That's not going to focus, is it? Um, and yeah, this is just a different scent. This is the Ritual Karma. I think that's it for like go-to fragrances. So. Let's look at the ones I want to keep then. So we've got the Rituals Smooth Violet Luxurious Fragrance Stick. So this actually comes with these sticks here. This looks so nice. Very excited about this one. Then we also have the Rituals Savage Garden um, House Perfume. That looks really nice as well. Uh, what else have we got from Rituals? We have lots of the little Rituals candles. Now, I don't like all of these, but I do like some. Smooth Violet is nice. I'll keep that one. 
Uh, I've actually got two of those. Savage Garden. Mm, I don't think that one's for me. Wild Fig is nice though. So I don't want this one. Um, Oris Mimosa. Mm, that one's nice. Oh, we've got a Paco Rabanne. One million fragrance. Damn, we'll have that one. Uh, others from Rituals. What else have we got? Oh, we've got the, the car fragrance. Um, I'm actually going to pop this in my car. So I'll keep that one. Uh, oh, another fragrance from YSL. This is the Y fragrance for men, uh, which Dan will like. Another Rituals. This is another Aris Mimosa. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that one. I think that's it from Rituals, unless I'm... Oh, I've got that little thing there. Uh, we've got the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance. I'm keeping that one. Um, the Ritual of Myrrh Sparkling Hair and Body Mist. It's not really something that I use, so that can go in the get rid of pile. Okay, we have quite a few of the This Works kind of like deep sleep products. So we've got uh, the deep sleep pillow spray in full size and mini. Uh, these are really nice. I do really like these. Um, oh, we've also got a full size of this one as well. Yeah, this is the one I use, so I'll keep these ones. Stress Check Roll-On, I don't really use those. Um, Stress Check Mood Manager. And we've got the mini and a bit of a bigger size. Uh, I'll keep the mini and pass the big one on. We have the Vida Glow Natural Marine Collagen. These are the ones I tried last time and I wasn't really a fan, but I might try them again. I have two of the little decorations from Rituals. Um, you actually spray the home fragrance onto it and it's meant to make it have smell nice. Um, don't really know what to do with these. They're quite pretty, aren't they? I'll probably just keep one then and pass this one on, the new one. Uh, what's this? Oh, we have a mirror from Liberty. That's nice. Keep that one. Uh, okay, let's do these big candles. So first up, we have this one from Floral Street. This is the Spring Bouquet Scented Candle. This smells awful. <laughs> this is really not for me. Um, just not my fragrance at all. Very floral and I just don't like it. So that one can go. The Perfect Night Sleep from Neom. Absolutely love these ones. What's this one? Discotech Crisco Disco. Oh, that one's really nice. That was from the Vogue calendar. Um, we have Jo Loves Roasted Chestnuts. Mm, that's a really nice one. One of my favourite scents from The White Company. This is the Chi Rose and Cashmere Scented Candle. Definitely keeping that one. We have an Esper Positivity Aromatic Candle. Um, I actually have one of these, but it's really, really nice. So I'll keep that one as well. Then we've got a, I don't even know how you pronounce this one, Mizensia Bougie Parfumery. I can't remember if I like this one. I can't remember where this was from. Which calendar? Oh, that's really nice. Mm. Yeah, okay, we'll keep that one. That's a, that's a nice one. Then we have Boy Smells Hinoki Phantom. Can't remember if I like this one. Mm, that's okay. Quite smoky. Uh, Liberty Stately Bouquet. This is their new brand. The L-E-T-Y. No, it's just very floral. Not really a fan of that one. So that one can go. And that is it for candles. Now back to fragrances then. Um, we have the full size Montclair Pour Femme. Um, I will keep that one. I think it was quite nice. Um, the Joe Loves Paintbrush Gel fragrance. That was so cool. Um, so I'll keep that one. Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. That one was quite nice, actually. Okay, we'll keep that one. Oh, I remember this one. I think I like this one. Yeah, I think I like that one. Um, I don't like the eccentric molecules, whatever it's called. It's just not for me. Uh, Floral Street Wild Vanilla Orchid. I think, was this the one that was actually quite nice? Oh, no, I think it was that one, wasn't it? This is Wild Vanilla Orchid. I usually spray in the box. Yeah, no, that's not for me, that one. That one can go. Uh, I think it was this one that was quite nice. Wonderland Peony, I think. Mm, it's okay. I don't actually think I'm going to wear that. No. Um, this one is, I can't remember. Oh, a very gold one. Um, Tiziana Terenzi. Oh, that one's really nice. I like that one. Ritual, I use this as a room spray, this Ritual's fragrance. So I'll keep that one. Oh, Lancome Le Belle. Missed that one, didn't I? Then we have uh, Maison Francis Coke Dijon. It's just not for me. I just don't like that scent. Penhaligans. Can't remember if I like these. Mm, that's quite nice, actually. Uh, BB, the Ghost of Tom. No, don't like that one. 
Oh, that's a mascara. What is that in here? Uh, I've got a home spray from the White Company. That's fab. And a nice little decoration as well. So we'll keep that one. Um, what's this? Dries Van Noten. No, I'm probably not going to wear that one. Hibiscus Mahajad from Maison Crivelli. Nope, not for me. Tudor by Liberty. This is the brand new fragrance line. Don't remember liking this one. No, that one isn't for me either. Uh, what's this one? Hermetica Paris. Mm, that one's quite nice actually. Okay, we'll keep that one. This is Love by Killian. Don't be shy. That one's quite nice. Uh, then we have Miller Harris. Nope. Oh, hmm, this is a maybe actually. I think that might be okay. Uh, we've got Poets of Berlin. No. Uh, we've got the P. Louise. I still believe. That is actually quite nice. I'll keep that one. Um, oh, Aromatherapy Associates Deep Relax Rollerball. Um, commodity Milk. I think this one was nice as well. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I like that one. And then finally we have French Leather from Memo Paris. No, that one's not for me. So these are the ones we're getting rid of. So we've got a couple of candles um, and a few fragrances there. I've kept quite a lot of candles here and obviously my favourite fragrances because I will use these. Just need to find somewhere to put them. Okay, so this is like the final section. So these are like tools and other bits. And I seem to have a candle in here as well. And also a hair and body mist. So I'll pass the hair and body mist on. This candle, I can't remember if I like this again. It is quite nice actually, that one. This is winter time, airy. The one in collaboration would look fantastic. I'll keep that one. So here we have some facial tools, some sponges, tweezers, a hair thingy, just stuff like this. So let's have a look at what we've got. So if we look at beauty blenders first, we've got these blending drops from Brushworks. Uh, these are really nice. I'll keep those. Um, same with the real techniques. So with the beauty blenders, I actually need to just refresh all mine. Um, so I'll be keeping all these, getting rid of my current ones and moving on to these ones instead. We've also got one from Soweepo. This is such a good one. Like the texture of this is amazing. And we also have one from Beauty Fact, which I'm excited to try. That one feels fab as well. We've also got a little Spectrum of course, I'll keep that one. Um, these two little ones from Brushworks, I'm intrigued because they don't feel like regular like puffs. Um, so I want to try those out and brush. And then I have this Laura Mercier puff, uh, which I've never used and I don't know if I will, so I'll probably just pass that on. It's all fully sealed up. Um, it's one of those bags where you can't actually open it unless you cut it. Um, it looks really nice, just probably not going to use it. Okay, brushes. So we have this set here from Brushworks. This looks like a really nice set. Uh, we have a nice spoolie, um, some nice eye brushes. So I'm going to take those out. They actually feel really, really nice. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that packaging. And then let's look at the Look Fantastic brushes. These were in their African camera, obviously. Uh, these are so much softer than these ones. Probably not going to reach for that one or that one. Yeah, I'm just not going to reach for any of those. So they can actually go. I was hoping I could put those pink ones in this bag as well. But yeah, they're not for me. I'll pass those on. These ones do look and feel quite nice though. So I'll keep those ones. Definitely keeping this one. This is Peaches and Cream. This feels so soft. It's so nice. Um, we also have one from Elf. This is a blush brush. Um, let's feel this one. Yeah, again, it's just not really one I'm going to reach for. Yeah, I'll see if there's somebody else who wants that. Randomly, I have this in here. Uh, this is some hair clay. Not sure why that's in here. That can go in the ensuite. And then the last brushes we have. Oh, we have one here from Florisys. Um, I'm definitely keeping this one. This looks so nice. This feels so soft as well. Look at that. So different. Oh, it's just so soft. Love it. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely keeping that one. And then we have these from P. Louise. It comes in this actual box, which is really nice. And this is a set of, I think it's 10 brushes. Feels so soft. Yeah, they feel really, really nice. Um, I'm actually looking forward to using those. It also has a mirror. I'm going to pop those away with these ones as well. 
where we have some new makeup brushes. Love that. So here we have the Lash Comb and Mirror Set from Tweezerman. This looks really nice. I'm going to take this out of the box. Now I have a nice lash comb. It folds up nicely. Um, and also a mirror. Looks fab. Um, yeah, love that. Get rid of all this packaging. Then we have some pretty little thing eyelash curlers. But I also have the eyelash curlers here from Tweezerman. So given the choice of both, clearly I'm going to go for the Tweezerman ones so these ones can go. Um, I think I said it when I actually got these in my PR video. Um, but I don't really use eyelash curlers. But it's something I'm going to start giving a go. So we have the curlers here. These look really nice. We also have three replacement pads with this as well. So I'll pop that in my drawer. Um, I have these like a derma cleaning tool set as well. So this is a blade. Now this comes with the protector. So I'm just going to pop that on. Like that. That does actually click on. It's really nice. Um, then we have the removal thingy and some more blades. So that can go in the bathroom. That's where I use these products. Uh, two new tweezers as well and these actually come in a really nice little pouch as well so we have the two tweezers and this little gold pouch tweezers and tweezers are so nice so we have a very pointy one and a slanted one and these slot nicely in there love those uh, we have the iso clean makeup brush cleaner this is fab and yeah i make use of that easy um i have the act deodorant balm um i do like natural deodorant and then I also have this Manta Healthy Hairbrush with a travel pouch. Brush your way to healthy hair and scalp. Let's have a look. Oh, so it comes in this little bag. Oh, this feels really nice. This is more flexible than I was expecting. I was expecting like one of those hard brushes. Okay, I will try that as well. Uh, I've got some little gems from In Your Dreams. Um, uh, I'll probably keep those for like Halloween. So that is it for my little declutter and organisation three part series. Um, so in the first one I did skincare, in the second one we did makeup and in this one we have done hair care, body care and fragrances. So that is everything from the advent calendar sorted through. I have a huge bag full of skincare. One of the big tote bags is full of skincare and I have a huge box full of makeup just for a giveaway. Um, I've also now got the additional body care and fragrances um, that I can pop in there as well. Like I've said in previous videos, the only products that are gonna go in the giveaway are products which I have not opened and that I've not swatched. They're all brand new products. Um, so for example, those brushes as well where I've just touched the ends, they won't be going in the giveaway um, just because I've touched them, so just for hygiene reasons. I have had a couple of comments on one of my other videos asking if I'll sell any of the products and I'm not going to be selling any of them. Um, last year I did a couple of bundles after this declutter series um, because so many people were asking. So I did put together a couple of bundles, they were only around between 20 and 40 pounds with quite a lot of products in because so many people requested them and then not many people were actually interested in buying them when they were up there. So, so based on that I'm not going to spend the time putting the bundles together for them to just sit in this room for a while not being bought. Um, I'd rather just do giveaways, get the products gone, um, do some donations and stuff like that. So the first giveaway will be coming very, very soon. I just need to actually put one together now. Now I've got everything sorted, everything in the bags. I know exactly what is in my pile for giveaways. So that will be coming really, really soon. As always, it will be an international giveaway. And I also have my huge monster video of an empties video coming up really soon as well that is the next one for me to film after filming this one i need to get all this sorted and all this put away then i can go through my empties from august it's like six months of empties which is insane it's gonna be a very long video um and then i'm gonna be starting to do monthly empties after that that is it for today's video guys thank you so so much for watching um i feel like this is probably gonna be a long video again i'm not really sure how long it is right now um but if you did make it all the way to the end, please leave an elephant emoji in the comments down below. And thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it as always. And I'll see you soon for another video.